revolution and inciting to rebellion. Here is a letter dated 29 December 1896 written by Theodora to Governor General Camillo pleading pardon to, for her son. Here is Jose Rizal's last gift to Josephine given on the morning of 30 December 1896. The firing squad at Bagumbayan consisted of eight Filipino soldiers with rifles, while eight Spanish soldiers at the rear stood ready with rifles in case the Filipino soldiers do not follow orders to execute Rizal. After the rolling of drums, the commanding officer gave the shout to fire. When Rizal fell to the ground, an officer approached his body to give the final shot. Everything was over by 7.03 a.m. This alcohol was stopped given by the father to Tabera family to Rizal was when Rizal carefully read the untitled poem, which he finished writing in verses in his cell. This poem would, would be eventually known as Mi Ultimo Adios or My Last Farewell. He gave the stove to his sister, Narcesa, on the eve of execution. Here is a doctor's certificate and other documents attesting to Rizal death, and his remains were exhausted to the Brothers of Peace and Charity. This group collected the body and took charge of its interment. Stories leading to the audiovisual room. This gallery presents key people who figured in the world of Rizal and who after his death, move on with their lives and pursue with the cost of freedom. General Antonio Luna was the director of war in Supreme Chief of the Army. He established as a military school, the Academia Militar in Manolos, in 1899. Soldiers of Kawit Cavite Battalion murdered him in Cabanatuan, Nueva Ecija. Juan Luna, Spanish authorities arrested and jailed Juan Luna and his bad brother Antonio because of their supposed involvement with the Katipunan President Emilio Aguinaldo appointed him, appointed him as a member of the delegation that worked for the recognition of the New Philippines Republic Paris in the United States. This mural entitled The Martyr Dome of Azari Sal by national artist for painting Carlos Botong Francisco depicts important events in his life. After the sad execution, authorities buried it secretly in unmarked grave at Paco General Cemetery. After two days, Narcisa is advocated to grave and place a marker with the letters R P J. The sad initial in reverse. His name was never mentioned after his death. Instead, he was referred to as El Difunto, meaning the deceased. It was only after 1898, with Spain in the Spanish American, where the Narcissa was able to exhume Rizal's remains, which were brought to the house of his relative Higino Francisco in Pinondo. His bones were washed with the waters of Estero di Benundo. The remains where the place is an urine kept by Rizal's family.
resolve rather Pashano join the Katipunan and become a general in the Philippines Revolutionary Army after his capture by the Americans in 1901 he lived a quiet life in Los Banos Laguna he died in 1930 Josephine Bracken joined the revolutionaries in Cavite where she worked as a field nurse through the help of Pashano Rizal She returned to Hong Kong where she met Vicente Abad, who she married. She died of tuberculosis. Rizal discovered new species of frog and lizard, which were eventually named after him. This frog is Rakophorus rizale, and this lizard is Draculo rizale. When Rizal won the lottery, he purchased a piece of land in the Titan, Sambuanga del Norte, which he planted to various crops like cacao, sugar cane, coconuts, abaca and fruit trees. He introduced new machinery and methods and became a successful businessman. Rizal also helped the Titan by designing a water, mark, a water work system and a dam.